I should be voting for the UK to remain inside the EU on the 23rd. The top line reason for that is because I can't think of a single challenge that we face today when you're thinking from the climate challenge or the refugee crisis or the power of transnational corporations or international terrorism. I can't think of one issue where we're going to have a better chance of solving it if we're on our own rather than if we're working with our European colleagues. So that is the top line for me. It comes down into lots of other issues, workers' rights, the environment, peace. But essentially, I think we are stronger and safer together. Well, I hate TTIP as much as the next person, but the truth is that it's our government that is one of the biggest cheerleaders for TTIP. And if we withdraw from the EU, we won't be left with some nice, cuddly, friendly trade policy. We will simply have a government that will be even more determined to put that investor state dispute settlement mechanism, that mechanism that allows private corporations to sue democratically elected governments. They will just put that into a whole range of bilateral trade agreements. Our best hope of fighting TTIP is precisely by making common cause with the 250,000 people who marched against it on the streets of Berlin, the three million people who have signed a petition right across the EU, the French who are already blocking it. You know, right now TTIP is on its knees and that is because of a united campaign right across the EU. I would agree that the EU is nothing like as democratic and accountable as I would like it to be. I would say the same quite honestly of Westminster. You know, we have a government that was elected on 24% of the eligible vote. So we need to make Westminster more democratic and we certainly need to make the EU more democratic. But the best way to do that is by being inside the EU and making common cause with many other movements in many other different countries who are also fighting to do the same thing. So Yanis Varoufakis, for example, has set up DM25, a, a movement that is now taking off right across the EU of people who are fighting together to democratise it. That is the best way to uh, address the issue, not by taking our bat away and, and, and simply ignoring it. If we stay in the EU, I want to certainly keep that fight up for a more accountable EU, giving more powers to the Parliament, for example, fewer to the uh, Commission, changing its end goal so it's not just about deregulation, but all of the policies around uh, protecting people from the worst elements of, of globalised capital, those kinds of protections need to be in place. But my vision for the EU is where environmental sustainability and social justice are absolutely at the heart of its agenda. And right now, you know, the environment is a compelling reason to stay inside the EU. Our environmental protection, our, our, our nature is best protected precisely by EU policies. And if anybody thinks that our government would, would keep those policies, then just listen to what they're saying. David Cameron saying, get rid of the green crap. The Chancellor saying that our nature directives are, are, are ridiculous burdens on, on, on business. Or when it comes to workers' rights and the importance of ensuring that part-time workers, agency workers are given real protections. We've heard Boris Johnson say, scrap the social charter. In other words, scrap those, those key protections that we have in the EU. And so I think that for social reasons, for environmental reasons, for the reasons of, of helping to keep the peace on this continent for the last 70 years, all of those are good reasons to, say, to stay inside the EU, but to work with our colleagues right across the EU to make it more democratic and accountable.